everybody, it's Lane. I'm back. It is time for another Christmas craft. And I am going to be sharing with you guys today a nativity scene. Um, so basically, this is going to be a super easy craft anyone can do. Um, and basically, it just involves a kit. Um, so what I am sharing with you today is a wooden nativity scene. And this is a Christmas craft um, package that comes with all of the wood cutouts that are about like three quarters of an inch, I wanna say thick, and it's the full nativity, okay? And so it's just natural wood. This is from Hobby Lobby, and anyone can get this right now, and as you guys know, or if you've been to Hobby Lobby lately, you can purchase, like they have all kinds of different craft kits. This one um, I picked up because I have been wanting to do a like natural wood nativity scene. Um, I have one that's like an older one um, and they're just like, you can get them anywhere. They're like this big and it's just kind of in the little stable and it has like the moss and everything on it, which you can do with this kit too or you can kind of leave it simple, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit simple and just show you what a little bit of paint can do. And I'm gonna put a little twist with it. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a glitter accent. And nothing crazy, because I really don't want this to be a nativity scene that's like, you know, super bright. I want it to have the natural tone would look like I want to highlight that. Um, if you guys saw on my last live, I did all the different kinds of trees and the cones with the yarn and I put the dark green trees in my front room. And so I want this wood toned nativity scene to kind of sit um, on my coffee table in the front room. And so the contrast with the wood and the greens um, in that room, I think would be a good mix. So that's what we're gonna create today. And like I said, this is just a Hobby Lobby kit. Anyone can get this. Um, its price tag is $19.99, but they're half off. Everything at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas holiday section is half off right now. So you can get a kit just like this for 10 bucks. And this is all I'm really using. And then some paints and a little teeny bit of glitter. Um, which I'm going to show you and it's a little bit spin on you know some of these different wooden pieces this way you can get it's a real affordable one you can make it match your home decor it can be whatever you want so I've got some paper plates and I'm just going to kind of lay out these plates I have four um, and then I'm just going to pull my pieces out of the, this bag. And so here's like the little stable background. And one other thing is I wanted to share. You guys can totally get like a piece of um, wood and like glue and secure this down like on a thing that can be moved around kind of like a tray. Or you can just let it stand by itself and space it out as long as you want to or shorten it up as short as you want to. So it's really cool because it's flexible on how you want it to be. Um, I think I'm gonna leave mine freestanding, okay? So that's what I'm going to lean towards. And I'm gonna stick with my few colors of, um, you know, the wood tones for sure, the greens and the maybe a tint of blue. So what I'm doing now is I'm just sorting these out. So I have my Mary, my baby Jesus. Where's my Joseph? Gotta look, gotta look for him, right? I have my, that looks like my Joseph right there. Um, and it might even have it on the picture. Yeah, so it does have it if you, like where they're all different colors so you can see. In the little picture on the kit, it actually is showing three different tones which is really good. Um, you want to have that. Okay, so we have our three kings, our three white. Oh wait, it's not a full three and three. So I've got my three over here, my animals and the shepherd, okay, and the angel. So I really want to highlight um, certain pieces I believe to be certain colors and I definitely want 
Mary and Joseph to be a certain color. And then the rest of the nativity, I kind of want to have that wood tone. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Now I thought about doing the, um, like all of the, I don't know what you want to say. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but all of the like three wise men, a certain color, all of the animals, a certain color. But I think what I'm going to do is do an overall brown wooden tone and then just highlight like maybe the angel, um, baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. So I think that's what we're going to do. So what I've done is I've just pulled out some of the Waverly chalk paints um, in the colors that are my favorite. And let's see, I am using that antique wax for most of my wood tones and I am just gonna pour it out. Now this is the Waverly, I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, the antique wax color. Um, you pretty much put this on and then you just kind of dry brush it around. I've talked about this before. This is Waverly chalk paint. You can get this at Walmart and see what it does. It just does a beautiful wood stained color on your wood projects without having to wait as long as real stain um, would take. So I'm going to do all of my animals in this color. I'm going to do the stable in this color and show you how that all looks and then we'll move on to a color. So I, um, while I'm staining painting this, you guys tell me what crafts have you been working on or what decorating have you been working on? Have you started yet? It's been about two days since I was last live and you guys said, you, some of you said you were waiting until after Thanksgiving. Um, I saw a couple of posts where people were saying they were gonna wait until Thanksgiving, but they don't think that they can wait. So it's only a couple more weeks, right? We have um, all of next week that the kids are in school and then they are out until after Thanksgiving. So it's really like, what, Friday tomorrow and then we have a weekend and a week, right? So if you, I haven't waited, obviously. I went ahead and decorated, I've been sharing all around my house, I have decorated. Um, I'm embarrassed to say, but I have decorated, let me count, one, two, three, six Christmas trees. Um, but that counts the small ones that my kids have that they kind of put with their little ornaments. So because I got down all of the Christmas decorations, I just went ahead and let them do their little ones in their rooms. Um, and then we have a huge like front room and so I always do a large tree there which was the last thing for me to finish. It actually took me a couple days to do it all and I put a skinny little slim one in my bedroom. I did that last year and I absolutely loved it especially like going in um, at the end of the day at night just having the lights on and relaxing in there with that is just, I love doing that. So I enjoy having that out longer than usual. So that was like one of the first trees I did. And then in our TV room area, I put another tree there because around this time of year, our other trees in the front and we don't really get to enjoy it or see it as much. And so I just thought, you know, a couple years ago we'd add a tree there. And so that tree, has grown over the years. We add all the ornaments that are handmade by the kids like over the years or ornaments that have been given to us or that we've collected. And it's a real mixture um, of ornaments, very nostalgia. It has all the bright colors in that room. And so I'm really enjoying that tree being up too, especially like on days like today, we call it a Florida snow day. We had a hurricane day. Um, where we just had all of the Christmas lights on in the house and really enjoying that. So, what have you guys been doing? Let me say hello to some of you. Hey, DJ. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Barbara. Tiffany. Um, let's see. I see Marsha. Hi, Debbie. Bonnie. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Hope you're doing good. Um, God, I'm glad I got to ooh, catch you. Say hello, I hope it's going good. She's doing, I think you're still said that you were still doing e-learning. 
And I know that is hard. Um, we did it for a little bit and we went back to school. So let's see. All right. Um, so here is my stable. I think I've gotten most of the nooks and crannies. It's kind of hard to get it in here around with the star, but you know, just a little bit. And then that little smudging technique, it kind of helps with this, uh, gel wax paint. So here's what I've got on that. Looks pretty good. I need to kind of brush smooth this piece out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. I don't think you guys can see it. I'm going to stand it up right here. I don't know if it will stay standing, but so now that I have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding this whole color to all of my other cutout pieces. And then we're going to get to the fun part of adding the color on the pieces that I want to keep a color on and moving along with a little touch of glitter. Now, is anybody like worried about what I'm thinking about the glitter? Cause I'm normally not a fan of glitter, like a lot of glitter, especially like in a nativity, I would never think of glitter, but I got this idea in my head that a little touch of shimmer, so not really glitter, but I'm gonna use glitter to make the shimmer, um, would go a long way. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I mean. Now the thing about this nativity is good because you wanna make sure you wanna do both sides, especially if you can see um, your nativity from both sides. I'm gonna be putting mine on a coffee table, so you will see it from both sides. So I have to stain or paint all of the edges here, which I'm gonna go ahead I'll show you this one, but I think what I'm gonna do is just start doing one side at a time and then show you guys, like move on to the next pieces, just so this can go a little faster. I know it gets boring watching me paint probably. So, let's see. And I'm just using a foam brush and just dabbing it into the, into the color. See that? And I'm just putting it like that. Now, and then I can go on to the next side. So I'm just gonna keep it easy for, for this. So what's everyone doing? Are you guys um, decorating or no? I know I asked that question, but I don't know if I saw any comments come up. All right, now I have my angel and baby Jesus I'm gonna do in a white color. And then I have Mary and Joseph I'm going to do in a little green color and a, um, like a blue color. <laughs> and I know you're probably thinking, what in the world? But I promise you, I think it's gonna turn out okay. And the reason I say that is because those are the colors that I kind of have going on in my front room with the tree and where I'm going to put this little scene. And I really want those pieces to kind of stand out from the rest. So I'm going to just give them a very subtle shade um, color, okay? And then I'm going to put a little tint of glitter on those. And I know you guys are probably wondering how that's gonna turn out. I'm kind of curious myself, but um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is still stain the back sides of the wood. So I've got like all of my pieces, like at least stained on one side here. Let me see, can you guys see if I, can you guys see that if I stand it here? My mat is a little crooked, so it's okay. This piece you probably would want to secure to like a board or a piece of wood. You could even get those um, pieces where they have, uh, you know, like the birch or it looks like a tree, like the raw um, edges. You could get that and that could be something really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna line up these three little guys here. Can you guys see them? And then here I have a camel. Can you guys see? All oh, maybe you can't. It's a little, let me move it in. All right, you guys see that? Okay, so you see how like everything is pretty much stained, right? Let me see if I can move the camera just a little bit down on my little scene. 
I'm starting to make here. Okay, so now that looks pretty good. And like from what I can see here, I know it might look a little darker in the camera than it is in real life. But from what I can see here, I think this is gonna highlight very well with like the dark green tones that I have going on in that room. And everybody that has a Christmas tree that's green, it's the same kind of thing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is move on to doing the angel and baby Jesus. I have um, white that I'm going to do for that. And I'm only going to paint the fronts of these because I think once, oh, this paint is dried out. I'm gonna get a different one. Um, <laughs> I guess I didn't close the lid on that one very good. I'm only going to paint the fronts because I want this, I wanna still stain like this side and the backs um, to kind of still highlight with the whole thing. So from the front, it just cr creates a little subtle color and a little like something extra. Is that making sense? I hope I'm making sense. So again, I'm just going to take my paint. I'm using a brush for this, for this one, and I'm just going to kind of dry brush the color on. So it's kind of soaking into the wood a little bit, which is good. I kind of want that to still have that wood rustic color. Um, but on just this side, I want it to be the white. So I really don't want to go over on the edges here. I really just want to keep it on this one side. And then once this is dry, what I can do is I can take this off or, um, you know, kind of just go back and stain the, the other side and the edge, okay? So, I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna do baby Jesus, same way, in the white, just to kind of highlight. And he's in the middle, obviously, front and center, so um, it's gonna be a great contrast in between Mary and Joseph. So, all right. So there's that. Now I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll get a little bit of glue and we'll do the glitter part. Okay, so Mary and Joseph, I know, it's gonna be a little nutty. <laughs> I have the color, I think this is called Agave, 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 I don't know how to say it. A-G-A-V-E, Agave, Agave, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, okay. So it has, it needs to be mixed a little bit, so I'm gonna pour it out and then stir it. Um, because it's a really kind of a minty color and it's coming out kind of dark. So let me get that. Here you go. Now you can kind of see what that color looks like. See, it's a little bit more of a neutral tone. And I'm going to do that on Mary. And again, I'm just keeping this on the front. You can totally stain them all. I've actually seen it where they choose like different stains, I guess. Um, so there she is. See that how like I'm gonna keep it and then I will stain her wood on the back, okay? All right, and now let's do Joseph. And in this color, I'm gonna do for him, it's a moss color. It's called moss, same Waverly chalk paint, which I like chalk paint for wood projects okay guys so I always kind of start with those and then I move into the acrylic paints unless I know I'm doing like a ton of colors then I will do acrylics okay so now for him I'm doing the same thing just the one side okay real subtle just kind of brush brush like uh, dry brushing it in I didn't get a ton of paint I'm kind of just letting the wood soak in the color just so it's subtle because remember I'm gonna go back and stain this to kind of blend with the other pieces so there he so let me show you the difference between him and Mary see that little different and then they're gonna be stained the brown color you see down here on the back okay so now what I want to do is we're going to add a little bit of glitter. I'm going to get another paintbrush just to um, put my glue on. And I'm not going to go crazy with this glitter. I know you're probably thinking, no, you guys, does anybody think I should not do glitter? Can you put it in the comments right now? 
I'm just curious, is anyone saying no glitter whatsoever on the nativity or are you like, go for it, I don't care? Let's see, hi Julie, hey Stephanie, hey Brittany, Liz, Betty, hello Paula, Becky, how are you guys doing tonight? We are making a nativity. This is a um, package that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's all pre-cut out. It's a price tag of $19.99, but it's on sale. You can get it for 50% um, off right now. So 10 bucks for a cute little DIY nativity set. And I just thought I'd go live and share with you guys. Okay, so I'm dipping the brush in the Mod Podge. Somebody said go for it. Brielle says yes, glitter, glitter. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, Joseph first. All right, so I'm gonna give him a little coat here of Mod Podge because I want the glitter to stick. And this is just a Dollar Tree brush that I have and it's like shedding on me, okay? Shedding on Joseph, all right. So I have this, this is a limey green, right? Kind of a bit much for me. In, in all honesty, I'm gonna move the white out of the way. It's not really, like it's like Christmas green. It could almost be a Grinch green. It could almost be lime green. Now I'm gonna add white in there with it. I'm gonna use the other little paintbrush. See what I did? I just did that and I'm gonna mix it to kind of lighten that green up a little bit better. How does that look? You guys see? Oh. <laughs> all right, so we get it all to one side. And now I'm not going to like pour it on. I'm just going to pinch it on, right? Use my fingertips to just kind of pinch the layer because I don't want it doused in glitter. Like I don't want it coated in glitter. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making total sense. Uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I am, I don't know. All right, so just enough to give him a little pizzazz. It's it. Tap it off. Maybe even give it a blow. There we go. All right, so can you see? It's very subtle. I want the paint color to show up more than the glitter, okay? And so I'm gonna put him down in front there. Can you guys see? How does he look with the wood tones? I think he's looking okay. All right, so now let's do Mary. And for her, I have, this is a Darcy glitter. I think I got this from Michaels. This is the color mint. Can you guys see it on the camera? It's a mint color. It looks a little darker teal on the um, camera, but it's an actual like mint color. And it's beautiful on its own. It looks kind of green, but teal. It's beautiful on its own, but I'm still gonna do the same technique where I add just a tinge of white to it. Stir that around, okay? Try not to get it in with my green over there. I'm gonna stir it around, stir it around, stir it around. And now we're gonna give Mary her little halo of color, right? Okay, she got some green on her. All right, so. She's painted, and what I'm gonna do is just add the Mod Podge to the same painted side. This Waverly paint, too, by the way, it dries so quick. So to stain these and paint these, this is a very quick project. Like, I probably could move faster if I wasn't live and explaining it all. But these would make great little gifts, too. Like, if you know somebody who would enjoy having this, $10 for the gift, I mean, super cute, okay. Same thing, I'm gonna lay her down, I'm gonna pinch my mixture on her. Very subtle, and I don't, I don't want, you know, it to take away from anything, but I wanna give it a little bit, and I'm putting a little bit more on her than I did Joseph, but you know what, hey, that's okay, right? She can have more. And just kinda tap it off the excess. I don't need like a big fan. All right, so she has a little bit more, I wanna say, but again, still very subtle in the color. So what are we thinking so far? Let me see if I can get her lined up there. 
with the green and the blue. Are we liking this or are we not liking it? What do you guys think? Tell me. Hi, Janet. Hi, Maria. Let's see who's that. Hi, Sal and Letty. Hi, how are you? Welcome. All right, so now I'm going to shake off this plate because it has... Well, maybe I will do this one over here that doesn't have very much on it and put the white on there because it's got hardly any stain on it. Okay, so now same thing for my white pieces. I'm going to add my Mod Podge. And the, all I'm doing on these colors is the Angel and Baby Jesus, white for them. And because I think in... The picture, they show the angel like off to the side here, but like if you were totally making this, like you could put her, I don't know, you could put her, you know, somewhere up here. If you definitely have like a tiered tray or like a riser stand, something like that, you could totally, totally do that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Even though I'm not mixing the white, I'm just going to pour it out onto my plate and still pinch it on. Because if I pour the whole thing, it's like the whole thing gets coated, right? We don't want that. We kind of want it to be very, very subtle, more than completely coated, if that makes sense. And then I think like to store these like year to year, you probably, I'm gonna blow again. You probably um, would wanna like maybe wrap these in some kind of tissue just to kind of preserve it. But the beauty is, is you can always go back and add more glitter if you needed to, if it brushed off, or you know, maybe less is more in this situation. All right, so look at that. There's the white. Let me see if I can put her over here. She goes on the other side according to the little, see it's kind of got like a little setup for you, but I'm just trying to get it all in the camera. And then let's do baby Jesus here with the white, right? Cause all right, okay. That's my thought process on it. And then the blue and the green kind of just go with my front room. Mary's obviously blue. I would think of her being in the blue. Um, and Joseph in the green. All right, let's see. Gonna blow on these little pieces hard. All right, let me put him down in front. And obviously you could set them up left, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. You can set them up left to right. Let me go in the front there and I'll put the camera down close so you guys can see. Oh, Mary and Joseph both fell. Again, I'm gonna try and do this without getting my head, like a big head in the thing. Obviously I need to go back and stain this little guy. You see how I didn't get the top there done? So I need to do that. But I just wanted to kind of show you how this could look. And I would maybe put like the angel over here with my wise men going in like this. Can, oh, I did it again. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it in the here. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. All right. So, what do you guys think? Let me zoom in here. Cool. We liking the colors? Not so much. Leave me a comment. Tell me. What do you think about this little nativity? I'm going to take some pictures in the morning with it on my coffee table area. And you guys can tell me, let me get this back into the camera here. It's kind of hard. You guys can tell me, oh, I did do that. Sorry. <laughs> you guys can tell me what you think. So, do you love it? Debbie loves it. Thanks, Debbie. So cute. Becky. Hey, Jessica. Let's see. Brenda says, oh, yes. Awesome, guys. So, yeah, this is a little wooden. Oh, let me get my camera straight here. I cannot tell where I'm at left or right because it's in the reverse, so it reads right. Um, so, what, it's right to you, but wrong to me. Um, so, yeah, this is just a little wooden kit that you can pick up from Hobby Lobby. I just used the Waverly Chalk Paint um, Wax, Antique Wax Brown Color, which kind of acts like a stain. And then I gave Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, and the angel a color. Um, but I left everything else stained. And then I'm going to go back and stain these. I'm just going to give them a little bit to dry. 
and then stain them and then it's ready to set up. I'm gonna put this on my coffee table with the cone trees we made the other day. So that is my little nativity. Thanks guys for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day.